today was a good day. It's your boy Crypto Blood, and welcome to another episode of my two Satoshis. This is actually not the Ice Cube version. This is the original, the originator, non greater, the Isley Brothers. And I have to give a shout out to LK for the song request. He wanted me to play that Isley Brothers footsteps in the dark. So that is what you are enjoying while we do this video today, people. Hope you guys are doing well. Again, welcome to another episode of My Two Satoshis. And I hope you guys enjoyed that interview with Cliff High, um, which was publicly, uh, was published publicly on Monday. Um, but the WebBot chat room members were able to see it Sunday. So make sure if you're not a WebBot chat room member on Telegram, you do join that immediately if you are a cliff high uh fan right so today is february 21st 2018 and we're going to go over some technical analysis really quickly and then jump into this article we got a new rating uh from the wise rating agency uh they i did a video maybe two weeks ago regarding a rating they did on Bitcoin they gave Bitcoin a I think C minus I think C minus I think it was a C minus um, actually I agreed with it you know I agreed with their rating uh, whatever it was I can't remember if it was a C minus or not but uh, I think they did they, they pointed out some very key points as to why a C minus was uh, appropriate so uh, anyway, I saw this and pinned this article maybe about a week or so ago, but I did still want to get this out to you because this rating, this rating agency, uh, this time did a, a rating on a, another token or coin that I use. That from you know glancing at the title, I'm like, man, I use this token all the time. They're slamming my my people. So we're gonna take a look at that in a minute. First, let's go ahead and take a look at the market cap. See if red today. Uh, we're sitting at four hundred and sixty-six billion dollars. We touched five billion, uh, five hundred billion, I should say, half a trillion, and then we got slammed. People, Bitcoin's dominance is at thirty-nine point two percent. And let's go ahead and take a look at, from a technical standpoint, what happened. So, <clears throat> if you guys follow me on Trading View. Uh, you, you know, I said that 10,200 was a critical area. We tested once, came back, regained some momentum and blew right through that area. Um, if you guys don't know, previous resistance becomes new support. So now <clears throat> I believe that in conjunction, I just want to give you guys a, a tip, a trading pro tip. <clears throat> Whenever you have like two areas converging meaning let's say you have a trend line as you see in the dotted trend line angled uh, from left to right going up the screen and then you have a support resistance area when those two areas converge that gives you double confirmation or uh, two more sets of technical um, analysis or technical points to to hold on to so normally those areas become a very good supports or very good resistance depending on the scenario for that particular asset. So I believe we should not see anything below 10,200. And, and if uh, and really we should as the drawing as I have the squiggly line here going out that I drew last week and then we're almost following that to the T. We should bounce off of this trend line going up. And then, and then, so we got slammed down pretty much, give or take like um, 50 or 60 bucks here. I'm gonna try to zoom in. But you can see I drew a dotted line uh, about a month ago at this area. And we pretty much, give or take 100, 100 bucks, we got slammed down right there at that same area I would count that as you know roughly the same region 
So now this area, people, this is the new, we've got a score point here now. This is the new target for, for us. We have to get above, essentially, you can just say 12. I'm just going to say 12,000. It's really 11,900, but 12,000, I'm going to round up. 12,000 is where we need to get above to continue this track in the right direction. So we're essentially, I need to redraw Jupiter, right? <laughs> I need to redraw Jupiter so, or move him over here to show people that we are now, uh, we're, still in, we're still in orbit with Jupiter, people. On our way, Jupiter's going to slingshot us, and we're going to head out to Saturn again. Hopefully, those were some good days in Saturn, right? Six rings like I'm Jordan. But that's about it for, for that. The article I wanted to go over, again, was out of Bitcoin.com. And <clears throat> it, it says here, the title of that article, Independent Rating Agency Alerts Investors About Dangers of Tether. So it says here, another outside observer of the controversial Tether cryptocurrency is warning about the dangers it presents for the uninterrupted operation of USDT exchanges. Weiss Ratings is seeking to educate investors on the systematic risk Tether introduces to the ecosystem. It says here, inherent risk of blind trust. Weiss Ratings, an independent U.S. agency, which recently published letter grades for cryptocurrencies, has issued an alert to investors about the dangers of Tether. It highlights common fears about the stablecoin, which is claimed to be fully covered by U.S. dollar reserves. So you can think of it as a pseudo dollar, like a, uh, like a pseudo U.S. dollar, but for cryptos. And it's, you know, I use it for... Um, buy. You know, I don't short because there there is a difference between uh, selling high and then buying back in low versus shorting at a particular price and covering lower. There there is a difference. Okay, so the difference is when you short, you actually make dollar value in that position going down. Well, when you sell high and buy back lower, you're accumulating more tokens. That's that's the difference. So you're going to get more tokens because you have more dollars at that level. As it comes back down lower, you can acquire more tokens. I don't short in this market because it is very dangerous. Um, this is a new market and shorting is very dangerous because there is an unlimited upside theoretically or you know you literally the price can go to an in infinite it can go to infinity it doesn't have a to the risk to the upside is infinite to the the risk to the downside is only you can only go to zero that's the lower bound you can only go to zero you can't go any further so you can always lose more than you can gain um that's why you know shorting you have to be very careful i, I wouldn't short in this market yet as it matures I think you'll have opportunities to do that but not yet I would not short and I've preached that in the past before uh, as well so anyway the article goes on to say what happens when the feds stop USDT printing wise explains how the importance of the USDT to the entire ecosystem is that many non fiat exchanges like Binance and OKEx, use it as a proxy for real dollars in trading. Because of this, it is the third most traded cryptocurrency and the only one with trading volumes that it regularly exceed its market cap. These exchanges, exchanges are thus dependent on Tether for liquidity and put investors at risk if any government decides to pull the plug out of the printers um yeah yeah i mean what do you guys think now that i read this 
<clears throat> it, it started off kind of seeming like they didn't that they were warning their investors about tether because solely because of their uh lack of auditing which i think they have had audits i'm not sure what the confusion is about that but now that i see this i definitely see the the risk because at any point and i but i want to say this before i make that point i believe tether actually moved their bank accounts from the u.s they got kicked out of i want to say it was either wells fargo or b of a they they canceled their banking accounts um with with tether now that prompted them and forced them last year early last year to actually move um much more of their funds offshore to other banks in other countries now i don't know how the u.s would be able to interfere with that i'm not sure if tether is a u.s company if they are then they there's definite definitely some risk there um because the u.s can they can say hey you got to shut down you know they'll go to thailand and say hey you got to shut down this tether llc or whatever their you know corporation is you got to shut their bank account down or risk fines and penalties so i'm not sure about that if if tether is a u.s company and you guys help me out with this if they are a u.s company u.s based company then there is huge risk from um from a from a legal standpoint okay if they're not a u.s based bank then i think the risk the risks are less um but to that you know to say the least i think there is still some inherent risk dealing with tether if you think the government at any point could come in and shut them down which they could you know that that's kind of the problem with centralized or more centralized cryptocurrencies um but it's man stable coins like usdt are excellent for the fact or for the point of being able to jump out of crypto positions lock in gains and then buy back in and end up accumulating more tokens so let me know your thoughts people i know some of you think that tether is a scam I don't however looking at this article I now can see where the the risks lie with tether so let me know your thoughts people uh, and you definitely need to make sure you like and subscribe and I will catch you guys later oh one last thing make sure you guys join that block party podcast with Nick and I from truth blitz um, I posted in the playlist part two of the um video we, or interview we did with ozzy the bs filter so jump over there to the channel and check that out people it's your boy crypto blood i'm out holla rock out to this isley bros